Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Have you ever been disappointed uh, by someone that you've looked up to? If not like a father figure, like an older brother figure. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what happened with this with this thing with, with Will Smith and, and, and Chris Rock. Um, because clearly it looked like a stunt in the beginning. And then uh, Will Smith went back to his seat and had some choice words for Chris Rock. Chris Rock seems stunned. It's weird because if you look at it, Chris Rock never raised his hands to Will Smith. He never did anything. He just kind of like had his hands behind his back and he took it. Um, now, if it was like some type of publicity stunt, it would be, the question would be, for what? Um, my problem with this whole situation is I'm at the age now where I'm considered, I consider myself an older young man, right? I'm no longer in my 20s or my 30s, I'm in my 40s. And there's a lot of disunity within the black community, quote unquote black community. And anytime you see people who are fighting in that community who are of a certain stature, it's usually people who, who are in the music industry and usually rappers in the music industry. It's very rare for you to see two actors beefing and fighting. And one of the actors being a multi-billion dollar actor. They called him, you know, they called Will Smith the billion dollar man, right? When it comes to movies and shit like that, right? Um, I think it's sad because at, at the end of the day, it makes us all look bad. You know, I get it, you, you, you feel like you're defending your wife. You know, you've been with your wife for 20 something years, almost 30 years maybe. Um, so I, I get there's a lot, a lot of emotion there when it comes to wanting protect, to protect your wife. Um, I'm married, I get it. Um, but at the same time, when you're on a bigger platform and you're on a platform like the Oscars and you do something so insanely irresponsible um, and on such a public venue, yeah, you make us all look bad. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, seriously, well, like, what is wrong with you? You know, and it's crazy because this is not the first time that I've noticed something off with with Mr. Smith, right? Like, it's 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 been a long time coming for that explosion. It's kind of like that. That movie Anger Management with um, Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson, where you know Jack Nicholson is telling telling people there's two types of people, right? There's the people who, when it happens, they explode, and you know that seems crazy in the moment, and then you have people who hold it in for years upon years upon years, and you know 20 years down the line, their spouse wakes up with a knife in their back. Um, I don't think Will Smith is the first one. <laughs> I think Will Smith is the second one. I think I think this has been building up for a long time because if you, if you look at him and the things that he's been going through, he's been trying to deal with like a lot of stuff internally. You can tell on his face and on his aura. He's just, it looks like he's been trying to deal with a lot of things internally. And I think it's a bad look. I think it's a bad look for the black community. I think it's a bad look for him and his family. I think, I think it's a bad look, you know, it makes us all look bad. At the same time, we should be concerned for one of our now elder statesmen, right? Who has done a lot for the community in the sense of pushing black actors forward with his own career. But yeah, what the hell is going on with Will? Because <laughs> I'm worried. You know what I mean? I don't know him personally, um, but yeah, that doesn't look good for any of us. It, it, I think it's horrible. You know, and poor Chris Rock, you know what I mean? Like, like I don't think Chris Rock could beat a fly with a fly swatter if he had to. It's, it's just, I don't think it's, it's in his nature. Um, 
but yeah, like, hell is going on. You're making us look bad with that one, man. That's just like, I, whatever it is he's going through, you know, I, I wish him a lot of light. But yeah, you need to you need to man up for that and understand that you cussing and, and blacking out and losing it on a public platform on a public platform like the Oscars is not a good look. Because now, you know, <laughs> thank God this didn't happen when Trump was in office because it would have been like fucking fuel for the fire, you know, but it's, it's, still, it's still not a good look. Like, I'm shocked because it's bad enough that we have people thinking that black people attack black people for no reason and then they think that it's just in the hood, right? Now they're going to be like, look at what happened. Look what Will Smith did. He's not in the hood. It's just what black people do. They attack each other. Look, that's what they do. It's in their nature. You know what I mean? It's like we constantly have to be in this state of awareness of, of who we are as people and what we need to do as people. And when you see someone in that space do something crazy like that to another person in that space, right? And it's really like unprovoked. Yeah, I get it. Again, you're defending your wife for whatever reason, but it's a joke. And if you can't take a joke, and, and it's crazy because, you know, I'm an amateur comedian and I can I, I cannot picture myself in that type of situation where someone decided that they wanted to come on stage and attack me and me not hit back. That that would be that would be a brawl. It would be a brawl because I'm not taking the hit. Fuck that. If you can't take a joke, my nigga, you come to me afterwards and you say, look, I didn't appreciate what you did. We got some issues we need to handle. And then you handle that shit elsewhere. You don't handle that shit in front of millions of people, my dude. Are you crazy? Like, how bad... Like, how badly did you feel it necessary to get up and smack another grown-ass man? You as a grown-ass man got up on stage. Swagged on stage, I, I give it to you, right? You, you swagged on and you swagged off a stage. I give it to you. But at the same time, you're doing all that. And, and all you're doing is making making it, it, it bad for people like me trying to get into that space. You're making it horrible. You know what I mean? You like, like what you doing, Will Smith? You know? Like, it's just like... Bro, like, I, I feel the shame for you. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I, I as, a, as an artist, I, as an amateur comedian, I, as a writer, I feel... I feel the shame for you. Why would you do that? What, why, why, why couldn't you show, have shown like restraint? Cause all you had to do was wait a couple hours or wait, wait until like he was off stage and go backstage and be like, yo, Chris, I need to talk to you. Smack him backstage. You feel me? Like it's just so many other ways that that situation could have been handled and you handled it in the absolute worst way. Like, what is going on with you mentally? What is going on with you spiritually? What is going on with you emotionally that you would need to clap back at somebody who is literally doing their job? And you might not like the fact that he made a joke about your wife, but if you don't like it, right, it doesn't give you the right to get up and smack him and then yell like you did about how he need to keep his wife's name out your effing mouth. Are you going to do that with everybody? Because you know there's a whole lot of people talking a whole lot of shit about you and your wife. Are you going to run up on everybody? Because I guarantee you there's going to be people that you run up on that they gonna, you're going to try that shit with and they're going to lock you the fuck out. Like you need to understand, man, look. There's other people bigger, better than you who tried that shit and they kept trying it and they got knocked the fuck out eventually. Like, bro, why? Like, I am disappointed. I'm, I'm beyond disappointed with this situation. Because, cause, yo, you're making us all look bad, bro. All of us. Just because you want to stay up in your fucking feelings and you can't fucking fall back for a moment and be like, yo, like, I like he said that. Let me handle this later on. I'm gonna wait until he get off stage because I'm gonna have to have a talk with him, man, and man, because I don't like what he just said about my wife. Right? You're compensating for something clearly. I don't know what that is, but yeah, you need to check that, bro. And again, I don't know you. You'll probably never see this video. You don't know me, but still, get it together. 
because clearly there's something troubling you. Clearly, I've seen I've seen multiple interviews. I've seen multiple snippets of you talking, and you just kind of like on the on the edge of losing it. And you kind of like pull yourself in a little bit, but it's it's there. Like your emotions are crazy. Yeah. So whatever situation you find yourself in, if it's not benefiting, if it's not benefiting you, you need to end that situation. You know, it's like Tupac said, if the way you live in is giving you more shorts than props, you need to end that way of life because it's not good for you and it's not good for the people around you. You know, you need to be your own advocate when it comes to a healthy emotional state and a healthy mental state. Man, look, I could go on and on about that shit, but I, I said what I had to say. And whoever's out there, whoever sees this, like, just know, like, I'm apologizing on behalf of Will Smith because that's crazy what he did. And it was unnecessary what he did. And there was so many other ways for him to handle that. Like, so many other ways for him to handle that. So many other ways. He could have been more professional, more astute, more charismatic. You know what I mean? And I understand. Sometimes you just need to slap a motherfucker. I get it. I've been there. I've done it. Right? And in that moment of disrespect, I get it. Like, sometimes you need to check people in that moment of disrespect. It's, it's what you have to do. But, again, you're on a certain platform. You're on a certain level. I'm not saying that it's not expected because you're a person. And clearly you love your wife. Um, whether you're conflicted about that love or not, that's, your, that's, that's a problem you need, you need to resolve. But clearly you love your wife. And I get that need to defend it, and and sometimes it's not even about the, per the other person that they say that they're talking about. It's the disrespect, right? So you need to check people within that moment of the disrespect. But because you're on a on a bigger platform, you have to realize that there's so many eyes on you, right? There's so many eyes on you who are look who look up to you, right? There's, there's people like me, and there's people younger than me. You know, my my concern. It's really less for people like me and more for the people who are children who stayed up that late and they're in their teens, you know, some or they're preteens and like, oh, Will Smith is my favorite actor. And then they see Will Smith acting like a fool. And then it's like, you just fucked up their head. You, you know, that could have been the next great whoever, you understand? And you are the, he the hero. And now it's like, wait a second. Like, why would my hero do something like that? Why would my idol do something like that? Why would the person I look up to, who's been so charismatic and so helpful to the community, turn around and do something crazy like that? You know, like, blessings and light, that's all I can say. Cause I, I'm beyond disappointed. Cause it's, it's, wow. Anyway, that's it.